He arrived in Fort Worth during the weekend, and I asked him if he would represent my son, Lee Harvey Oswald, at the Warren Commission hearings and in the investigation. I explained to him that I would not be able to pay him now as I was living on the $863 insurance money along with contributions from people who are interested in justice. True to my sense of justice, Mr. Lane immediately replied that he had never turned down a case yet because there was no fee and that it was too late to start bad habits now. He said he would take the case and without even any future fee. I have up until now carried this fight alone and it's with great respect and deep gratitude to have such an individual as Mr. Mark Lane to help me. I know that there are many people who may have information about this case, people who can help prove that my son, Lee Harvey Oswald, is not guilty. I'd like to state that I think that this is completely contrary to the whole development of justice in our country, which holds that only through the crucible of cross-examination and through an adversary proceeding where a person has been accused of wrongdoing is permitted to have counsel. It's only through that development over the years that we've arrived at a judicial system which functions in a fair manner. I'm very surprised that this commission would deny to this man accused of a very serious crime and who has been denied the right to a trial to no act of his own, the right to at least have his interests protected so that all America may know exactly what did take place on November 22nd. I suggest that we will never know now because the truth may never be determined in the absence of cross-examination. You know about the widow Oswald statements yesterday saying that she believes her husband did kill President Kennedy. When she was first taken into protective custody or held incommunicado by the Secret Service and the FBI, she proclaimed that it was her belief that her husband was innocent. After eight weeks of being held incommunicado and meeting only with FBI agents and Secret Service agents, she has changed her position. She's not been presented with all of the facts, obviously. I think when this whole case is over, the Federal Bureau of Investigation will be able to write an excellent book, the latest volume on brainwashing techniques.